Hello, thanks for joining us for this predictions video. We're going to preview the FA Cup clash with Peterborough on Saturday. Uh, obviously, QPR beat Rotherham uh, to get this far. Peterborough, on the other hand, beat Bristol Rovers. Um, struggled this season, Peterborough. They're 22nd in the championship. Um, for both teams, I suppose, I'm not really sure how much an FA Cup run really comes into their thinking. You know, Peterborough will be desperate to, to stay in the, in the championship. QPR, on the other hand, going for promotion. What do you think about this one, Kev? Is it a case of both teams putting out slightly weaker versions of their strongest eleven, or the QPR go for a cup run? What are your kind of thoughts on that? I f I feel that they'll make changes. I feel uh, I'd say Austin Andre Gray will come in. I would say Hendricks would play, maybe Don Ball, George Thomas, and then I think people will make similar sort of changes. And then I think I said it against Rotherham is, is who who's Changes of whose um, squad players are better. Now, I'm going to go. I think QPR will win. I don't think QPR or Peterborough necessarily want a cut run at this stage. But look, when you're out on the pitch and say Don Ball is playing and Jeff Hendricks and Andre Gray and Charlie Os, just say, for instance, you want to show to the manager, look, I'm ready. I want to play in the, in the championship. I want to play against Middlesbrough on Wednesday. So when you cross the white line, you don't feel, you don't think like, oh, I don't want to have a cut run. You go out and play to win. And as a striker, you go and try and score some goals. So uh, I'm going to go QPR to beat Peterborough 2-1. What do you think, uh, do you think, Ian? Do you think he put, Warburton puts out a strong team for this one? Who do you kind of see coming into the into the game if uh, if not? Yeah, it'd be interesting. I think I'd be interested if he does with the back, the back three because... You'd think Sarnison will come in, but yeah, if you're Rob Dickey and Johan Barber, you've played every game this season. I mean, they're, they're going to want to continue that run. Um, and Jimmy Dunn's not done much wrong, has he? So, um, if it, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what he does. Although I think Sarnison will come in. I don't know for who, though. Um, in midfield, I think, yeah, as Kev said, Hendricks, good chance to have a look at him. Uh, Ilias Chair's obviously back. He'll be, you know... He needs game time. He hasn't kicked the ball for really best part of seven weeks. So yeah, get him in the side. And then it's, um, you know, can you leave Willock out the way he's playing at the moment? He, he's he's playing at a level that, you know, I don't think there's many players better than him in the championship at the moment. He really is, um, you know, playing so well. And it's momentum, isn't it? You know, winning breeds confidence, so they say, et cetera, et cetera. So... And also, you get you know you get a few quid for getting to the fifth round in the FA Cup, so you factor that in as well. Um, and they owe Peterborough a problem early in the season. They didn't play very well and were, and were turned yeah. over. Peterborough have uh, just sold probably their best player to Bournemouth. Who else? Um, so it's yeah, it's a very winnable game for Rangers. They're a bit low in confident Peterborough going there and carry it on. I you know there's, there's I think there's five thousand QBR fans going big away following. It's you know it's all it's all there on a plate for. You know, there's no excuses really. They should go. They should go there. Should win, and should win quite comfortably. So I'm going to go for three one. Solid, Ben. You share the uh, Kev's and Ian's optimism for this one. Yeah, I do. I mean, um, I, I actually think uh, Rangers will, will perhaps want this more than Peterborough. Actually, um, I think as as Ian said, you can't lose sight of the financial rewards of getting to the fifth round. Uh, also, the likelihood, if you can get to the fifth round, there's a very strong chance of drawing one of the big teams, um, which, you know, does it does make a difference to, to the club finances. Um, and I think the other factor, as Ian's already said, is they want to set the record straight after a very disappointing performance at Peterborough in the league. Um, so, yeah, I, I would be optimistic. I don't think there'll be that many changes to the team, to be honest with you. Um, I think other than the ones that have been... Mentioned of uh, chair needing some game time, possibly someone like Moses Odibarjo might uh, get get some game time as well. Um, I'm not sure there'll be there'll be that many changes um, because they won't have played for a week. Um, you know, we had I mean Willock obviously came off sort of the last quarter of the um, Reading game, um, presumably with that in mind, with the game already being won, so he might well play. Um, I think there'll be a strong side. And um, prediction-wise, I'm in a bit of a hole here because um, my first thought was 2-1, uh, then Kev said that. Then I thought maybe I'll go 3-1 and Ian's taken that one. All right, you can. we won't, we won't so, judge. We won't judge. 
you've not left me a lot, but uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I will win. I, um, I'll go with my initial thought, 2-1, 2-1 QPR. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll see maybe four or five of the squad guys come in, maybe like a Domble. I think Sanderson probably in line for a game as well. George Thomas, perhaps, you look at someone like him. I think Odebadjo is a good shout as well, Ben. I think he's someone that definitely could come in and, and play and get some game time, give Adoma a rest because, you know, he's played a lot of games recently. And obviously, what was he, 33, 34 now? So I think maybe get, getting Odebadjo in for him might make sense. Um, but saying that, I, I think, you know, should go fairly strong, hopefully play Chris Willock, see if Chair is ready to play. Maybe Chair comes on for a bit or something like that just to introduce him back into it slowly because he's not played really any... Well, he's only played half an hour for Morocco in the African Cup of Nations, so he's not going to be very match sharp. So, uh, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to see what he, how he does and how strong he goes. But I think Warburton will name a, a decent enough team, a strong enough team to beat Peter Barrett. I'm going to go... I don't think it'll be a goal fest. I'm just going to go for a tidy 1-0 win away from home for, for QPR. Um, so we've all predicted wins, so you know what's going to happen now, don't you? Unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, let us know what your uh, what your predictions are in the comments below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.